Hello my lovelies, welcome back to this perfumes channel. Today we're talking about most hyped perfumes that are actually worth it because as we know there's loads of perfumes that come and go and sometimes the hype really isn't worth it but for these it always is. First up, we've got a OG fragrance. This is Santal 33 from La Labo, and I will forever be a lover of this fragrance. I love it to death. This is a scent that has been done so many times, that has been duped so many times. I think that is the think, stamp of approval when a fragrance is duped to endless degree. Uh, that is because it's hyped. And this scent, I still believe the original is the best. It's got the biggest scent projection it's just incredibly this dry sandalwood fragrance and it's got this awesome pickle note and if you've watched my love uh, my vlogs you know i love pickle <laughs> i just love it it's the eastern european in me and it's just aromatic it's so strong when you wear it i love wearing it during like the colder season that is to me like oh, if i'm just tired of sweet fragrances of ambery fragrances which i usually love that is like my jam then i go for something like this and i'm like oh i can just rest in the peace of knowing that santal 33 is the best fragrance ever it is a beautiful scent it is well known but only in a big cities i would say in like small cities like i showed this to my mom like a dupe for it because we were in a store and my mom didn't know what it was but she was in love with it i remember a work friend i showed this to and she was like oh my gosh i want my whole house to smell like this this is amazing so this is a very um easily liked niche scent which is i think a hard thing to do to get both of the sides of the spectrum right and this just is totally worth um, the hype if you have never smelted try it out it's absolutely a fabulous fragrance next super hype fragrance that i love and it took me a while to get on the bandwagon because i don't know about you but for me when something is really hyped <laughs> It really puts me off. So for example, at the moment, like this fragrance Bianco Latte or something like this is super hyped everywhere. And I'm like, oh, I just don't want it. I don't even want to smell it because it's so hyped. So this was me with Baccarat Rouge. For the longest time, I was like, no. Nope. And even the first time I smelled it, I was like, oh, I don't know if I like it. And I smelled the Eau de Parfum. I actually do prefer the Extra version. So this is the one that I have in my collection. And this fragrance is hyped, but I understand the hype now. I think it took me a while to get it because I love to layer this fragrance. I love to wear it just to shock a little bit because it's so super strong. Um, and I think a lot of these that I'm talking about are very strong fragrances. So perhaps there's a link with hyped fragrances and how strong they are because people actually comment on your fragrance when you wear them. And then everybody's like, oh, this is an amazing fragrance. You have to get it. So this is one of those very strong, sugary, a bit of hospital note. To me, the extra has got a bit less of the hospital note for my nose, so I do prefer it. I do like how spicy it is, and I love just wearing it to like going out situations, going out for dinner. It is still a very good fragrance, I would say, and I would just get the extra version though. I don't know if you agree. Let me know if you agree in the comments, like if you do prefer the extra or the or the parfum version of this fragrance. Next up is a fragrance that also has been around and been very hyped forever and it is Delina from uh, Parfum de Mali but I would say I actually placed this one on this list because although I love the original Delina what I would recommend to you for most hyped I would say this version of Delina is actually the most versatile the most wearable uh, the one that will just be used in your collection the most because on my own experience i've got uh, all the versions of delina and this is the one that gets worn the most so if i'm you know if this is my channel so if i'm recommending something to you i want it to be you know the best possible in my opinion of course you, you don't have to agree but this i would say go for this it's a beautiful rosy light fragrance it's perfect now for the summertime because it's just watery fresh nice and just 
light, but you can also wear it in the colder seasons. So uh, I think Delina, the original, it's quite hard to wear it in the warmer, like 24, 23 degrees and up Celsius, of course. It's a bit hard to wear Delina with this. It's just perfection all year round and it's very good. Everybody will compliment the way you smell and it's a gorgeous bottle as well, which is a plus. And of course, I'll link all the fragrances in the description and any samples I can find for them as well for you. The next fragrance that I will probably not find a sample for because Chanel doesn't do samples very well unless you buy them uh, from their own website, which I do recommend to get yourself um, a Chanel bottle from the website then you can choose a few samples uh, Chanel Noir this fragrance I think it's a cult classic it's hyped it's everywhere like if you see somebody talk about Chanel they're probably going to mention this fragrance I remember like you know even uh, like my mom's generation and like my teachers they used to wear this fragrance i remember my french teacher um buying this fragrance and i was like hmm, what fragrance is she wearing you know i've always been into fragrances so i always was like peeking but this is like a classy almost like it smells like old worldly but in this like way that you don't mind it smelling that way because it doesn't smell very vintagey it just smells like pure class in my opinion and it's ugh, it's this patchouli but it's fruity it's really dark and mysterious and kind of green almost like bitter but also light and citrusy I just love the scent it's strong again you'll get compliments for it and i would say this is a fragrance that is like your one for life sort of a fragrance type of situation you can wear it to work you can wear it for dates you can wear it anywhere and it just will smell beautiful um and it's a bit more of a grown-up version of coco mademoiselle next fragrance that is so hyped and i think on fragrantica like the dupe now is number one and angel share is number number three of the most popular fragrances it's just a fragrance that I know people that aren't even into fragrances and they know this like when I'm watching vlogs a lot of like the vloggers have this fragrance and talk about it and uh, like a beauty lifestyle you know content this is my love Zimaya Sharf blend this is a angel share dupe I love this one because it's super creamy it's more creamy than the original it still is super yummy boozy apple cinnamon you just smell edible it's strong it's long lasting it's just a beautiful warming fragrance i think there is nothing better than the smell of like a warm apple pie in the oven so i think that's maybe perhaps why people love it so much yeah angels share or any of the tubes i mean they are fabulous fabulous choice whether you're going for a date whether you want just a warm cozy fragrance to sit by the fire sip on your red wine or maybe some rum actually this would be because this is a bit rummy fragrance it's absolutely phenomenal and i get the hype and i totally know that most of you who will try this fragrance you will be in love with it so it's totally worth it next fragrance that is so hyped and worth it it is tobacco vanille from tom ford i remember that you know everybody was copying this fragrance even mac had their own um version of it something teddy i don't remember and this scent it's just christmas in a bottle it's so captivating so different it's very strong again a common denominator with all of these it's so spicy warm and the tobacco in here it's not too masculine like it's not going to that polarizing uh, tobacco just bitter dark scent it is warmed by that, that vanilla and spices and i for a long time just on this and another scent with mate and we both wore this because we both love this scent so much so if you want a scent to share with your partner to back of a knee go for it it's so unisex it's so magical like on your skin it's so warming and delicious and kind of like dark and mysterious so good and another perfume that is hyped i think it's very well loved it is rouge malachite it's also been hyped by me so i'm guilty i love this fragrance so much it's this 
creamy, grown-up version of Alien Mugler, basically, but much better ingredients, much more elevated scent profile. It's this jasmine, creamy, spicy fragrance. It's so smooth. It's just oh, a, like butter on your skin, and it is super comforting in uh, the winter time. But it's very nice also because of that almost like a um, sunscreen lotion sort of a fragrance. It's great to wear in the summer as well. So very versatile fragrance. It's I would say very sexy, almost vampy to a certain point, but still keeps it classy. Fabulous fragrance, gorgeous bottle again, and you should not be put off by the hype for this one it's actually very good let me know what are the hyped fragrances at the moment that you would say they are totally worth it as i've said i'm kind of like i don't like the hyped fragrances i like to choose my own way and go through this fragrance path and try to find my own gems but sometimes inevitably like you just have to you know admit defeat and be like yeah this fragrance is amazing it's worth the hype and these are them so i hope you enjoyed this video and i'll see you in the next one bye